today we're going to take the air filter cover off, remove the PCB line, remove the trim panel, remove the choke, lever, and a few other things. So let's go ahead and get started with removing the air filter cover. It's held in place by two 8mm bolts here and here. Now let's remove them. So you'll notice right off the bat, a few things happen. We have the air filter cover that came off, and then if we flip this over, we have the air filter. The air filter catches particles as it tries to enter the engine, keeping dirt and debris out. And then we have the pre-filter. The pre-filter catches smaller components before they even hit the air filter itself. This acts as another layer of protection uh, for your engine. So what we're gonna do, is we're going to take our air filter cover, we'll put our pre-filter back in where it belongs, and our air filter after that, and then we'll set this whole unit to the side as one piece. Next, we want to start looking at how we're going to get the air cleaner base off, this silver piece here. That's pretty simple, but first there's a few things that need to come off before we do that. If you'll come over here and look. We have the choke lever here that actuates the choke. You can kind of see it right through there as I open and close it. This lever has to come off. It's very simple. You have to line up the plastic piece with the open slot here on the metal and simply pull straight up and off. This is the choke lever. Next on this side we have the crankcase vent line. There's a PCV valve inside of this valve cover and it acts as a one-way valve letting out pressure from the crankcase and letting it travel up and up into the carburetor base housing. It's very simple to remove it. Just grab it and pull to the right and it comes out of this little hole area. Next, let's see if we can figure out how to get this base plate off. Very easy, it's held on with these two nuts here, 10 millimeter. What do we do with the components that we take loose? Put them in our magnetic tray for now. Okay, now at this time our carburetor base, air cleaner base plate will be able to come off. This exposes the engine just a little bit. We have a fuel line here, our carburetor gasket here, carburetor bowl, so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and move over to this side and start taking the trim panel off. There's a couple things that the trim panel has in it that need to come off first though, or that need to be in the appropriate position. If you'll look right here, this is our fuel valve. We need to make sure that this fuel valve is turned off First of all, so that when we remove the carburetor in later lessons, we don't soak ourselves with fuel. Secondly, the trim panel must come off with this in the correct position as it slides through a little slot in the plastic. Secondly, we have to remove the throttle control knob, which is this piece of rubber that's on the outside of the throttle. The bunny represents higher RPM, the turtle represents slower. So, we'll simply put this valve towards the center here, and I'll take my fuel line removal tool and gently try to pry it off of there. Sometimes they're a little tough. There we go. If you'll notice also the trim panel has the kill switch in it. The line indicates run, the O indicates off. So Let's go ahead and remove our trim panel. It has a bolt here, a bolt here, and a bolt here. Those are eight millimeter, and we're gonna go ahead and remove those. this bolt back in our magnetic tray. So now we have our components in the tray. What we'll do now is we need to figure
figure out how to take the trim panel itself off. It should just pop straight out like so. However, that leaves a few things connected here. These are your kill switch wires. So what we'll do in order to mark where they go, I'm going to take a Sharpie and I'll mark that connector right there and put a little line right there so that whenever we're ready to put this back together, we'll be able to see that this red connector goes on this slot here. Sometimes these connectors are tough, so I use a pair of needle nose to gently grab it and prime off like so. Hmm. All right, now we can set our trim panel to the side and that basically brings our engine to this step. We have completed what I wanted to get done for today. One of the most important things, and I know Mr. Clark stresses on this a lot, is where to put your fasteners after you're done taking them off. All we're gonna do is just lightly thread them back into where they came from so that we don't lose them. And you can practice this philosophy pretty much all throughout the entire engine. Okay, voila. Well, that about wraps up lesson number one. I hope you guys were able to follow along and answer the questions as we went. Again, I hope you guys are doing great and we can't wait to see you uh, be looking for lesson number two to follow. Have a great week.